Raw Stuff with Roger. Hey guys, today we are going to make one of my favorite brushes. Now this is a really simple brush. I use it, uh, this is my liner brush, I call it. So I use it for all my outlines. And I, I just like a brush that's a little chunky. It's not so smooth. Uh, sometimes when you're making um, some animations or some design, you don't want that slick look. You want it to look a little less, just a little less polished. And here I'm just making the screen black. So I'm making one layer completely black. And then I'm going to make a white square and a little stem coming out and a triangle ish. I'm going to get it just kind of right and I'm going to go there. We're good enough. I'm going to fill those. I'm going to attempt to fill those. And I'm just going to try and get it just the way that. I like it so I'm gonna try and fill them as close to the edge as possible and then I'm gonna go you know what I'm just gonna fill it anyway so I'm gonna go around the edges and just make sure I have some clean lines and now I'm not looking for smooth lines here so as you can see I'm just kind of going by eye and not making it super smooth and I go a little overboard here and I decide well I, it's got to be a little bit smoother than that I think so I go to erase it, not realizing that I have it all in the same layer. And then I realize here, oh yeah, I just got to do black for erase. So I'm going to just kind of get this semi-smooth here and try and smooth it out a little bit the way I want it. And I went a little too far there, so we're going to fix it up. I'm going to call that good. We're going to make sure there's no little specs on the edge. Then we're going to save it. So we're going to export. I'm going to give it a name. I do not like doing it this way. I usually type it because as you can see, I wrote arrow-ish and it said Aver. And I said, that's good enough for me. So we're going to export that. I'm going to put it in my files. I'm going to go on my iPad and go to my ToonSquid folder and put it in the brushes. And here we're going to just go into the brush, figure out where you want to put it. I was thinking for a bit, I wasn't sure where I was going to put it, and then I figured I'd put it in my toolbox. New brush, go to edit, then you're going to go to the shape, click on it, and you're going to have to add, import from files, find it mine is on my ipad and then in my tune squid and then in my brushes and then again in my brushes so i'll go down and find it and i'll import it in and be able to click on it pretty much right away and as you can see it looks not quite the way we want it so i'm going to change the spacing on it a little bit i'm going to change the smoothing and I'm going to see, and if you make it too smooth, it just turns into a block. So that's not really what we want. So what I want to do is get the spacing a little bit far apart. And then the important part of getting this to look right, which it took me a sec to remember, is not the spacing, but you want it, the spacing done just about like that. It is the scatter. No, I'm not going to get there just yet. And we're going to look around rotation jitter that's an important part so i want the rotation jittering and it makes those all the sharp edges rotate and we're going to change the stroke pattern and then you can see we're getting there already so we're getting the jagged outline that i'm that i'm looking for some animation has um, i'm going to put a little bit of I'm going to change the spacing to where I think I enjoy it. And I'm going to play around with all these settings until I get it to look the way I want. Now, yours isn't going to look the same. Scatter, I'm going to put a tiny bit of scatter on it. And that just, for me, gives it that, that perfection. So you can play around and have it any way you want. 
for me, I like some jitter, some scatter, and I like it to kind of ebb and flow a little bit and to be always a little bit different. So I want I want it to kind of move around as I'm drawing. Not not a great deal, like with within a limit, but then you can make some some really cool stuff with it. So here we're going, yeah, that, that's, that's close. We're going to hit done. You can name it there if you want. Uh, I didn't choose to name it. And sometimes it takes a second to get it to work. And there we go, it's working. And you see how it makes that nice little, little jaggedy edge along there? For some reason, I just enjoy that. So all I'm going to do here is kind of show you what it looks like. Now, in order to do that, of course, we are going to write that this is the end of the video. <laughs> and it's going to take me a lot longer to write it down than it is to say it. So I'm going to say the head and I'm going to say thank you for watching. I think that's what I'm going to type here. Let's find out because I'm doing the voiceover at a different time of when I taped it. So let's see here. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for watching. Now, did I spell watching correctly? That's the question. T-C-H. I did. Look at that. All right. You guys have a great day. And uh, I enjoy making these videos. If you got video ideas, put them in the comments. Uh, I'm going to have another one up next week on just a simple hand wave. So stay tuned. Have a great day. Bye.